welcome back to the spiders web and in this video as you can see we have the great big dragony thing um, to do now I can't find um, any form of tile card whatever you want to call it for this dragon um, I hope I've not lost it anywhere um, but I'm gonna to have to find out whether there was one I'm sure there was but as I can't put my hand on this at the moment so we're going to do this. I'm going to do this as a big black dragon. And to start off, we're not painting it black. No, not at all. We're going to be painting it. Well, we're actually, not actually going to be painting it. We're going to be washing it with Drakenhof Nightshade. Mm. So, let's get on with this, shall we? Now, I've got this on its stand, and as you can see, I've got some masking tape around the stand itself. And that is hopefully going to prevent any um, paint getting on the stand. So I'm going to do this part first, um, just while it's. Um, I need to put the stand on because one thing I don't want to do is actually get some of this be below the. Um, or beneath the masking tape because if I did that oh it wouldn't be good it wouldn't be good at all um, so we're going to do all of the underside first of all and I've made a point as you can see of starting around the hole where the um, where the flying base goes um, now if you uh, remember I did a unboxing video on this one. It's the first one of the Castle and Raven, well the Adventure System games that I did an unboxing for because I'd got the others before I started the channel. Um, but I was saying I wasn't impressed with this dragon. Um, in comparison to the minis that you got with the other Adventure System games, I'm not really impressed with any of these. Um, there just doesn't seem to be any thought gone it well not as much thought going into the quality of these minis as there was with the others um, this to me just looks like something they were using in the D&D uh, uh, attack wing game um, that they just had a little bit left over from so they decided to add it into this um, that may or may not be the case if it is the case it's a bit of a lazy way of doing things I think um, but let's face it when all said and done this dragon's a nice model in itself but when you compare it to the other minis that you got with Legend of Drist, um, Wrath of a Shardalon, or Castle Ravenloft, it's a bit. You know what I mean? It's um, it's not one of the better models in the series. Let's put it that way. Um, I mean, the size of the Urtu model, the Balor in uh, Legend of Drist, or the um, what was the dragon's name in? Uh, oh dear Lord! Um, what, uh, Castle Ravenloft, Gravestorm, I think it was, wasn't it? The uh, Dracolich. And then you had the miniature of a shirt of a shadow on in Wrath of a Shadow was awesome. But as I say, it's a nice miniature in itself. But the problem is when you've got other games in the series, this one's a bit of a letdown. <laughs> ah well. Not to worry. It's not vitally important as long as the game's playable and enjoyable, that's all that matters. 
And let's face it, you can always use these for your D&D &D adventures anyway, can't you? So we're not we're not done out. We've not been done out of a good model. We've just not had the same. I think it's just the fact that we don't have the same um, size of model that we got with. Um, oh, let's just angle this camera down a little bit. Give me a second. Oh, I'm falling over. Ah, that's better. Hope you can see me now. Ah. Um, yeah, so as I was saying, um, you've got some good models, but you just, the problem is, as I say, comparing the ones that you got with the other games to the ones you get with this game. And that's where, as I say, herein lies the problem. But, not to worry. I was saying when I did the um, the Gold Dwarf Cleric in this game, whose name for the life of me I can't remember, Borrowing was it? Um, she felt as though she was smaller than the previous dwarves. I'm going to have to check on that because um, I felt all the way through that these models were fairly small in comparison. I may be wrong. I hope I am. It may just be because I've been used to using a certain or used to painting certain size models and these I think are slightly smaller. Um I don't know. I might be I may be wrong. But once I finish painting them we can have a look and see. But so uh, we are, as I say, very close, well, as I say, I, oh, for some reason I always seem to say that, and I haven't mentioned it before. Um, but now that we're very, very near the end of painting this set of uh, minis, um, we will be starting playing um, the complete scenario of um, Temple of Elemental Evil. Whoop. Glad there's not much in there because I've just not the pot of uh, wash over. Um, if, the, if it was full, I'd have had it all over the place, but thankfully it wasn't. So I managed to uh, catch it just in time. Um, and there we go. Now I am going now to just finish making sure that everywhere underneath is painted um, because I'm getting the stand back on this now because I want to do the um, I want to do this ring. I'm not holding it. So. There we go. And we'll carry on with this. Um, now, um, one thing that we have to think about when we're doing these, um, especially when it's a big black, or big dirt one, virtually one colour, is how to highlight it. Um, now with this, the highlight may be easier than you think. If you've seen some of the other minis I've done, which are just washed, it looks as though it's been highlighted anyway, just with having the wash on. Whether this happens on this miniature, I don't know. We'll find out when it actually dries. Um, but I'm not holding my breath because there are there are a lot of big flat areas here and there are a lot of crevices as well um, little peaks and troughs 
and you know I'm only going to work out whether or not this is actually um, done oh, this is actually okay to use once it's been uh, oh I see it's a uh, trying to work out why it wouldn't go in it actually shapes I can't put the flipping thing in. There we go. Hopefully that's okay. <laughs> yeah, so um, we'll not tell, or not be able to tell, um, how this is going to look until it's dry because this is a very watery mix and water will do what water will do. It's a law unto itself. Hence the reason we've got water elementals. <laughs> so if we come back and we find that there's enough light areas not to really warrant a wash, we may actually not, sorry, not to warrant a highlight, we may not actually do one. Um, but I do want to do something with the wings because I don't want them to be uh, like this at all. So, we will do something with the wings, you know, the flaps in between. Um, I say the flaps in between, the flaps in between all these, all the leathery bits in between the fingers, shall we say. Um, so, see what happens, I'll say, when it's done. We also want to paint the underside a little different to the top. Um, we're just making sure that all of the dragon, apart from the horns and the tongue, all of the dragon is covered in this Drakenhof nightshade. Before we pause the video, And we can come back and uh, see how it looks. So that's about it so far. Um, I'm not ending the video yet. We're just coming back to it in a moment. After all this wash has dried. Just so we can finish off. Hopefully we'll have an awesome looking mini by the time we finish. But time will tell. So uh, I'll see you right after this little video transition, which is coming up right about now. Right, we're back, and uh, as you can see, it's all dried up now, very nicely indeed. Um. Yes, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking to myself, it doesn't really need much doing to the wings if I do one small thing. And that one small thing is give the main body and the arms, or the hands rather, arms and hands, a w another wash, but this time with black. Um, I'm thinking that might help, but... The thing is, the more washes you do, the more it's going to build up in the crevices and cause a loss of, um, what's the word I'm looking for, a loss of um, oh, detail. So, what I'm going to do instead, I don't know. Let's try the wash, but with a difference. Um, well, not really with a difference, because we did this in the last video. Um, we actually diluted the wash by a great amount. So, we're using a null oil wash. We're giving it a good shake before we start. 
and we're adding it to a wet palette okay and we're not just doing that we're also going to take some water on our brush and add that to it as well to thin it down quite dramatically and then we'll just brush it on and I said the just the top areas and the arms because the one thing we don't want to do is do too much of this and have to faff about later to try and get it looking how we want it so if we do this we have the lighter coloured chest of the dragon a darker top which is what ideally we need I'm going to take this back off the thing for a second just while I do the legs and arms and you've got four legs and two arms it's <laughs> There we go, and I think that's really all we need to do with it. Um, we do have the horns and the tongue to do as well. Um, I haven't forgotten that, don't worry about that. Um, but I need to make sure that we've got all the areas that we want dark to be dark. So and just make sure that oh, no, mustn't forget the teeth as well I'm also going to try and get into the mouth with this black no 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 whatever you want to call it um, oops, I think I've just gone over some of the uh, leatherish membrane between the fingers I'm looking, as I say, at the wings as being hands. So that's that bit done. I just need to insert this. Back inside. This is not easy to do. There we are. So, let's see. The, I know which areas I want to do, and the, we just need to focus on those. Um, as I say, I think what I need to do with these parts is to. Um, make sure that I have a smaller brush and get a bit more control when I'm doing the wings um, so the last thing we need to do is mess it up at this stage there we are, I'm just going to get as much done as I can we're running out of this wash as well so I'm going to need, oh yeah, I'm going to need to put a bit more on but Um, yeah, I'm going to have to put a bit more on. So we need to just scoop some out, bank it on with a little bit of the water, just to thin it down, and then we'll carry on underneath here. Now I'll stop once we've got all the main parts done, change brushes and go in with a different brush to get the details on that we need. 
Um, okay, so um, all we really need to do here. I'm not going to split this video again because it's already been done once. Um, <clears throat> by split, I mean actually pause the video and let the um, wash dry. We don't need to do that again. Um, I've just changed brushes now and I'm going in with a finer brush and just going over on the wings with this. Um, Now I'm too busy at the moment trying to paint and watch what I'm worrying about. We're about to say I'm on the uh, the me cam. <laughs> so, oh, um, so apologies if I'm going off camera a bit too much. I'm not intending to, but um, as I say, I'm just taking a little too much notice, well I'm not taking too much notice, I'm just concentrating my efforts on painting this miniature um, which really is what we're here for and if unfortunately I go off camera I do apologise, I'm going to have to try and position it in some way where I can get it all on or get my, myself on as best as I can um, I actually quite like the way this looks really doesn't need much do much doing to it at all um, which is good I will need to highlight obviously but again I can only do that once the um, once this wash has dried but which I'm gonna go up there because I didn't realize they were so it's like a a cloy protuberance and there we go um, we'll see what we can do when it comes down to highlighting a little later um, I don't know exactly how we can do it but we'll have a look and see what we can do And the best part about um, doing this the way we've done it is that um, I still have something to hold when I need to make adjustments because I've not done the floppy things between the fingers here. So there we are. I'm hoping that's going to dry and make it look like it's a black dragon with like greyish coloured wings. Um, do I need to make sure that all the areas here are actually covered in the null oil wash. Um, I'm going to go in with a bit of just straight null oil on some of these areas because it's looking a little bit pale at the moment. Um, so I'm just touching up with a little bit, not much, and I'm not allow I'm not intending to allow it to flood any area. So if it does flood, I'm trying to ease it off, as it were. Um, now we're going to have issues completely with this. Um, actually covering, so I may need a couple more. Um, applications, I don't know yet, but we'll see how we go. But I'm hoping you're, going, you're seeing the effect that I'm looking for. Um, now, as I said, I'm not looking to have um, what you call it, uh, black horns or a black tongue. 
I'm looking for something different for those. So the horns, what I'm looking at for them, <coughs> is using Talern sand to start off with. Just pop a little bit of that on the palette. We don't need much. Okay. So Talern sand and we'll just So a little bit of that and I'm not at all worried if I get any of the wash bleeding into this because it will just add to the effect um, and I'm hoping you're getting this on camera It's not easy to angle this round so you can see it I'm afraid so if you can see it fine if not then I do apologize but I'm trying to get to, get it to the stage where I can actually um, see where I'm painting it otherwise it's going to look a complete mess um, I think I've got most of it There we are. A little bit more. There we go. That's that. And you'll see where I'm going with that a little bit later. And next, what we're going to be adding is for the tongue. Just a touch of Screamer Pink. And we'll get just that touch of that on the palette. It's a bright, vivid, dark pink, more of a cerise colour. And we'll just add that onto the Making sure you've got all of the tongue, not just the, the top. Oops, I've got a little bit on the tooth, but that doesn't matter. In fact, I forgot to paint the teeth. For the teeth, we're going to be going in with the talon sand once more. And we're just... Going in making sure that we cover all of the teeth with this. It's a little difficult on the top because I can't bloom and see what I'm painting here. can do is wait for that to dry um, before we do anything else so that is it for this video I hope you've enjoyed it I know there's not really much I can say about it and uh, much we can do really um, one thing I can do however is show you and put that just off camera for a second because I have found the the card for it his name is Valafidros um, the Black Dragon. Now there's two versions of this. There's one of the scenarios, it's in a village, and this card is the one you use for that. Um, as you can see, so there, and there's his uh, damage, his attack and his damage. And the second one is just Velothidros the Black Dragon. And that's what happens, I'm assuming, when it turns out to be done in a um, what you call it uh, in a dungeon? So the acid breath is a plus ten attack, four damage, miss two damage, and I think in the um, what you call it in the 
village attack it's half that uh, and the village attack the tail sweep is two damage and move a hero one time away from Vala Fagbos and with this it's two damage and place the hero on any square adjacent to Vala Vala Thedros with um, with the normal attack which is when he's in a dungeon so that's it as I say for this video we can't really do much now until this uh, beastie has dried um, and then when we come back we're going to do a little bit of highlighting on the wings uh, and the main body but uh, apart from that that's your lot so until next time take care God bless and bye for now.